you know Dion, the turquoise iris, um, Debbie's DIY, blending techniques, hashtag do the Dion, the water girl. Yeah, that Dion. She sent out an email from her Creative Connection Facebook group and I was so fascinated by what she had done with what was left over. She actually used drop claws as an inspiration for the stressor that she painted. She called it her beautiful mess. I'm going to share how I made this tote using Dion's drop cloth dresser as my inspiration. This is my beautiful mess. Yep, this is how I paint. I have my paint everywhere because I'm always working on something, somewhere. I have my paint upstairs and my work area downstairs, so I'm always grabbing paint and throwing it in a bag or a box or putting it in my shirt or trying to carry six cans of paint in my arms along with three brushes and my phone. Have you ever looked at what's left over after you're done painting? Do you ever look to see what you've left behind? I usually leave behind a mess. At least that's how I've always thought of it. I started collecting these painter's palettes and you know, there's something beautiful about what's left behind from these artists. Each palette kind of tells a story. It helps me to understand the colors they used, the, um, the techniques, the way they blended. I may never see the painting that they did, but there's something about these that just tells me the story of who that artist is. I was curious to find out if I could make a painted drop cloth look like it happened naturally. I wanted to see how the paint reacted on the cloth so that I could reproduce the same look on my tote. Until I'm complete. I mixed faded burlap and sandy blonde to get a drop cloth color. I got my eyes on you. I applied the paint in a very thick layer and then allowed it to dry part way. Then I used an old paintbrush and dragged it across the drying paint to create a layered texture that gave a woven effect. I picked colors. Colors that I normally use, colors that make me smile, colors that I've never tried before. On my practice piece of drop cloth, I spattered and dragged paint. I stroked and pounced. I made blobs and streaks of paint. I misted and I wiped. I applied the paint on my drop cloth piece and then on my tote, in any way that I could think of, trying to imagine what I actually do with my paintbrush when I'm painting. It was really fun to just let myself go, to create art and make a mess in a way that I never really had before. I applied paint with a credit card, scraping away layers and building up layers. I used the edge of my card. I used the rim of a paint jar lid. I used my fingers and various brushes. Each time that I applied paint to the drop cloth, I did the same thing on my tote. This is the joy of Debbie's DIY paint. It's color. It's fun. It's all about experimenting and finding your style. The paint can be applied in so many ways and you can achieve so many different effects. The joy in using Debbie's DIY paint is allowing yourself to let go and be creative.
Debbie's DIY paints are available on our website at ellenjgoods.com. Every now and then, I would give it a mist to let the water blend and meld all of those colors together. One final spatter with a bright white paint really makes it all pop and my masterpiece is complete. After the paint had completely dried, I used Debbie's DIY Big Top as a sealer. It's water-based, it's easy to use, and creates a perfect durable finish. Now what to do with my finished drop cloth art? I wanted to use it in some way on my painted tote, so I ripped it into strips. And using Debbie's DIY liquid patina as a glue, I wrapped the handle for some added fun and texture. Liquid patina can also be used as a decoupage or transfer medium. So here it is. Now I can take my beautiful mess and load it back into my new tote so that I can carry it back to my paint cart ready to reload for my next project. Thanks, Dion. Thank you for your inspiration and your willingness to create art out of what's left behind. You can find all of the products that I used for this tote on our website, ellenjgoods.com. For more inspiration and DIY tutorials, please subscribe to LNJ Goods on YouTube.